Hello, I'm Jashi Kins, and I'm going to give a little short review of the latest Walking Dead episode, Trigger Finger. Now, I like you know, The Walking Dead, I even like the slow parts during the first part of season two, but I'm really glad there's a bunch of action here. There's, of course, the rest of the guys attacking Rick, Herschel, and Glenn. And actually, I was really scared for Glenn because I really thought he was going to die a couple times. Then you have <laughs> Lori getting into that car crash, and you know, before the new episode premiered, the previous episode show, I just cracked my ass laughing at that car crash. Uh, but anyways, there she gets attacked by two zombies, and my favorite one that attacks her is one that is smashing its head into the window. And as it's smashing into the window, I'm trying to go further, the skin on both sides of its face just start going off, and that was like, oh, yes, it was a little gross, oh. yeah, and the thing with Shane slowly going into madness is being shown, you know, some things he does make sense, but he is just so fucking unstable. I've just been waiting like two seasons just to see him explode, and he's starting to get that way. I mean, even with the other girl, I can't recall her name, uh, that's like his lover or whatever the hell. And even she is like, what the hell? You're acting crazy. And... Yeah, but I'm going to say, I was really surprised to see Herschel being able to handle a gun. That was cool. I was just like, oh, God, he has a gun. This is going to be hilarious. And when he actually takes a shot, it's like, wow. And another new character is being added, at least probably for the time being, that was originally attacking Rick and the gang, but then was left behind by his own group to die, and so Rick decided to rescue him. <laughs> and, yeah. And one thing I do have, listen, you know the one girl that's like gone into a catatonic state? I'm just fucking waiting for her to be a zombie. I mean, all through this episode, whenever, you know, they had a, a scene with her, I was like, it's going to come alive and attack someone. And it never happened. So, right now, I don't know if she's actually a zombie or just the stress from everything happening. This may have gone into full coma. But I just really think the zombie. So yeah, the, overall, this was a good The Walking Dead episode. It had a bunch of action, which I admit has been lacking during the season. So it has action, it has nice character development. So it's a nice, good combination. It's very good to have an exciting episode, especially after, you know, having a very slow season previously. So it's sort of like The Walking Dead and Fringe are doing the same thing with not having that, you know, well-liked first half of this season, and then the second half being, you know, making up for it. So, yeah. And until next video, goodbye. <laughs>